Hello, hello. Once again, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to learn programming step by step from scratch. In this lesson, I'm going to show you functions in JavaScript. What are functions? Functions are basically a block of code that performs a specific task. So we may create a, a code that we want to reuse in any part of our code or application. We don't need to rewrite our code anytime we need our code. So the best thing to do is to create a function. Anytime we call that function, then the function will perform that action for us. So how then do we create a function? Let's look at that in the bit. So let's say function. We use the keyword function. The function keyword and every function is supposed to have a name. So I have to give a name to a function. So I'll say function. Let's say this is what? Say hi. I'm going to create this using a camel case. We have ways in which we create variables. I will, we'll talk about variables in detail. The rules regarding creation of variables. We can talk about that in another video. But once you are creating a function, you give a function a name and then you go ahead to create this. We'll also look at how we can include parameters or arguments within this parentheses. But for now, I have to create the block of code. So the function keyword and then the name of the function and then we will not bring our curly brackets so everything what the function is going to do now will be within this open and then closing bracket so let me say i want this function anytime i call this function to say hi so i can say document dot write and i'll say say hi okay this should be in what quote because it's a string so i'll say I'll say hello let me just say hello something like this let me say hello and then I have to <coughs> close this remember anytime I write a statement you need to close it so how then do I call this function we call a function by using the name so if I say say hi that's the name of my function actually say hi and then remember you need to bring the parenthesis sent also in the statement so if I go back here and I reload it on my page, I should see hello. So basically, this is a simple way in which you can create a function. So if I want under hello, I don't need to go and repeat the same procedure in creating the function. I just have to call my function again. Control D, I'll duplicate. I just can control C and then paste. So if I repeat this, let's say some couple of times, I should be getting hello printed in that order so you notice like we said in our beginner in the beginning of this lesson that functions are block of code that perform specific tasks or reusable code you want to use that code in any part of your application you can easily use a function to do that so when i reload this notice that this has been printed out throughout i want to make it look a bit plain or neat for you to read so i want i want to add and notice i don't have to go and then add a break statement in all this i can easily do it over here within my function and then it will affect or apply to anywhere i call that function so this is a break statement that i'm using over here and notice what is going to happen when i reload my page wow so we are using functions and then once you call a function it will perform a specific task for us so we just want this function to say hello so what about if we want this we want this function to say hello kofi anytime you visit hello kofi or hello am my name the rest we can easily do that but remember we need to put in an argument or yeah an argument anytime the function is called the person will have to put the name of it in this case i want to delete this and then i want to calculate something i want to do some brief calculation so let's see I'll change the name of this function to let's say cap. Let's say I want this function. So basically, you need to you need to give a name to the function that will depict what the function is going to do. So this time I want the function to calculate add two numbers for me. So I'll say num what one. I'll separate it with a comma. And then this time around, I want to say let results. So I want to calculate two numbers. Anytime the person enter the number. The function will add the two numbers for the person so i'll say num so this one num one plus num two 
so this is what i want my function to do for me when i call this it should print out the total of the two numbers so it depends on what the person the numbers the person is going to enter so after that then i can also document dot write document dot write then i have to take that results okay but before i do that let me see the the total the number the person entered i have to say the total is and then this should be in quotation and then i have to append this so i'll see the total is then the total will be printed to the user as simple as that so let's see we try to call in this function by saying calc remember that's the name of our function and this function because we put in argument two parameters we have to do equally do the same so if i put two numbers in that order i have to get a summation of it so i'm expecting to get five so let's run this code and see what we've gotten if i run this code notice that total is what five but let me do some modification let me give some space over here so that we see it printed neatly to the user so let's say i have to give a space over here and then i should get something what printed to me okay so the total is what five remember we say functions are block of code that perform a specific task someone i can use this function somewhere else within my code so let me just duplicate this and i want to add few numbers again and let's say 45 45 this should be giving me something around 48 but i need a break so i want this to be printed on a different line so i also bring the break statement here and then let me go and load what i have okay so you notice this has been printed as well we have the total is this and then in that order so we can call this function anywhere at all we want and then we can just put in our argument and then what the function is created to do to perform the particular tax for us for us okay i want to write another statement i want a simple function based on what you've done to be able to calculate a tax maybe we, anytime we call this function it should add some amount to the tax or maybe we want to perform a simple tax we want to add some amount to whatever value the person is going to get we can equally do that so let me delete this and let's say calc tax okay so calc tax let me just do this i want to calculate tax and then over here i'm going to put just one argument so i want to calculate some tax on any amount that the person is going to enter so this tomorrow what is going to be the amount that i'm going to charge or what is going to be the tax on the amount i'm going to say so i'll say that amount times remember if you are doing multiplication in program you use the star keyword so times my tax so let me see my tax is 0 0.5 this way and then i'm also going to in introduce you to some particular interesting thing we can return or call return this function back to the caller by saying return keyword so we want to return the results this way and this time around notice what is going to happen if i call this function i'm expected to put an argument over this so any amount i'm going to put in the tax will be calculated 0 0.5 will be calculated on that so if i call this function down here if I call this function down here, let's say calc tax and I'm expected to put in any amount. So let me say amount is let's say let's say four thousand. This should not be printed out. So let's see what is gonna happen. Nothing is printed out and as expected. We don't expect anything. Because we are just returning this, we are not printing anything out. For us to be able to get this result, we need to create a new variable and then assign let's say main amount main amount we need to assign this to this so what is happening we are now allocating this function to our new variable so when we cannot print this new variable then we can get our results so doc write and then this time around we should get so let's call our main what amount over here so this tomorrow we should get our amount printed with the tax calculated on this particular value so if i go back here and i reload you notice that we've calculated 0.5 percent on a four thousand so that's what two thousand so 0.5 is basically half so 
but the tax is half of that amount. I don't think there's any way <laughs> in which you have to be charging a huge amount of tax. Yeah, that's not possible anyway. But we are just doing this for the purpose of this lesson. Thank you so much. This is basically how to use function in JavaScript. There are so many amazing things we are going to do on this channel. So remember you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new tutorials. Hit that subscribe button, share with friends.